Do you need to run a meeting where some of your participants are in a room together and others are remote? Well, that's a hybrid meeting. In this video, you will learn how to connect all your devices together and run your hybrid meeting with Zoom video conferencing. If you are doing hybrid teaching, you can actually set up a hybrid classroom like this one anywhere with just a laptop, a smartphone, and a cheap microphone. Your next act, Mr. Marcus Seppala. How's it going? My name is Marcus Seppala. I'm a stand-up comedian and communications trainer. And on this channel, I help you engage better with your audience, whether that's on stage or on video like we're talking about today. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up a hybrid meeting in any location. And specifically, that means that the online participants will be able to hear and see the in-room participants. And the in-room participants will be able to hear and see the online participants. In this video, we're going to cover five different topics about setting up your hybrid meeting. First, we'll start with an equipment overview and we will use everyday consumer devices to create this hybrid meeting. After that, we're going to connect them together and then it's time to configure and test all the equipment. Once we're done with that, we're going to start the hybrid meeting on the laptop and then we're going to start the hybrid meeting on the smartphone. And there's a reason why we're doing it in that order. Stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to share a bonus tip that's going to help you communicate between the online participants and the in-room participants. As always, there's links to everything I'm talking about in the description below. There you will find a list of all the equipment that I'm using as well as my free video conferencing checklist. Let's start with an overview of the equipment that you'll need. I've been running successful hybrid meetings for a long time now in my Toastmasters club and this is the setup that I'm going to use as an example. First, the audio, the most important part of the hybrid meeting. We are picking up the audio from the room with this lavalier mic. This is actually the same microphone I'm using here. And we are broadcasting the audio from the online portion into the room with this Bluetooth speaker. As for displays, I'm using a projector to project the online meeting onto the wall and also I have my PC display set up so that it can be seen from the stage. Then we also have two cameras. One of the cameras is the PC laptop camera and the other one is this smartphone camera right here. Here's what that setup looks like from the other side from the stage. And if you want a list of all the products that I'm using here, have a look at the links in the description below. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you will notice that I've improved this setup. In the first version of this setup, we didn't have the projector. So we were actually using the laptop screen facing the audience so they could see the meeting from there. But I think it's better to have the projector because then the image is a lot bigger. Now we're going to connect everything together and we're going to start with the microphone. The microphone input on this laptop is a headset input, so it expects a headset that has been designed for phones. That means that a regular microphone is not going to work. Luckily though, the lavalier microphone that I'm using, it can be used both for phones and for cameras and computers. When this microphone is in the phone mode, it's going to work in this connector. And the best thing is that I don't even have to use a battery on the microphone when it's in the phone mode. As for the speaker, well, this is a Bluetooth speaker. So we're going to connect it via the Bluetooth interface. Just click connect in the Bluetooth settings to connect this speaker. As for the projector, this is a standard HDMI cable between the laptop and the projector. So there's nothing special about that. Just make sure that you duplicate your screen on your laptop. There's still one thing to connect and that's the smartphone, but we're going to leave that until the very end. And there's a good reason for that. We're going to come back to that. We're just getting started. If you already got value, hit the like button. Now it's time to configure and test our setup. The first thing we're going to test is the microphone. When I plug in my Boya mic in my laptop, it's going to show up as microphone array, and I can pick that as a microphone in my Zoom setup. For a setup like this, I recommend that you leave the automatic volume adjustment in Zoom turned on. That's going to ensure that the microphone will work, even if people are a little bit further away from the microphone. Now that you've set up your microphone, just go ahead and test it with the built-in testing function in Zoom and you'll be good to go. Now it's time to connect that Bluetooth speaker. And when I connect my Bluetooth speaker, this is the UE Mini Boom, as you can see here, it actually shows up twice. 
once as a headset and once as headphones. For me to make this work, I have to pick the headset output as the speaker. When I pick the headphones output, it doesn't work when I try to set it up in Zoom. Once you've selected the right device, go ahead and test the speaker as well with the built-in testing functionality in Zoom. It's gonna play a little melody and you will know that you've configured it correctly. And now let's move over to the cameras. As for the camera that's pointed towards the stage, in this configuration, I'm just using my built-in laptop camera. So that doesn't really require any configuration. However, I have tried to run this hybrid meeting with my real Canon M50 camera as well. It's a little bit more complicated, but it may be worth it because the quality is outstanding. If you want to see my video about how to set up your Canon M50 as a webcam, have a look at the links in the description below. I have a separate video about that. It's time to start our hybrid meeting. And when you are running a hybrid meeting, I strongly recommend that you start the meeting from your laptop. Certainly you can start a hybrid meeting from your phone as well. But the reason why I recommend the laptop is that you will have so much more control. When you have multiple devices joining the same meeting with the same Zoom account, the first device is gonna be considered the host. Having the laptop as a host is a lot better than having a phone as a host because you have so many more controls at your disposal. For example, you can easily mute and unmute people from the laptop and you can also set, for example, sharing privileges in your meeting. Another reason why the laptop is better for hosting the meeting is that you can see more people on the laptop screen, whereas on the phone, you can only see four people on one screen. Are you getting value from this video? Hit the like button. Now let's connect our last device, which is going to be our phone. And when you join this meeting from your phone, you're not going to join as a guest. Rather, you're going to be logged in into that same Zoom account that you're running on the laptop, and then you're going to click Start Meeting. When you click Start Meeting, you're not going to create another instance of that same meeting. You're just going to be logged in into the same meeting. So it's a little bit confusing, but just click Start. When you join the meeting like this, you're going to show up twice in the same meeting and that actually means that you've configured your hybrid meeting correctly. In just a moment, I'm going to jump over to my bonus tip, but if you've been getting some value from this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Just hit the big red subscribe button. And here's that bonus tip. Because you're going to be in the meeting twice, I recommend that you rename both of your instances, or even if you have three or four cameras connected, you should rename all of them. In my configuration, for example, I have one camera pointing towards the stage, and I'm going to rename that stage. I have another camera pointing towards the audience, and I'm going to rename that to audience or room or something like that. This is actually something that I've learned the hard way. We had a hybrid meeting and somebody was trying to send me an important chat message. Unfortunately, it went to the phone instead of the laptop. When you rename your instances, you're going to avoid this problem. This video is part three in my series about hybrid meetings. And originally it was going to be a three part series, but we have so many more things to learn about hybrid meetings. So I will actually make a few more videos on this topic. If you have any questions about hybrid meetings, please put them down in the comments. I will try to answer them in future videos. If you want to find all of my videos about hybrid meetings, click the link on the screen right now. Also remember to grab my free video conferencing checklist from the links below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.